And this is more like a model of probabilities. And again, to classify new instances, either we can simply assign whichever label is more likely. So if it outputs for me 0.55, then I will call it a pass. Or I can say 0.55 means you don't know what you're talking about model. Let's call that the I'm not sure zone and actually ask a human for their opinion. So logistic regression is a great tool for binary classification and it works well at scale two, including at Google scale. We use logistic regression a lot around here. Now, it can also work not only for binary labels as a version that works for multi-class classification, and that is multinomial logistic regression. So it's not only pass fail or cat not cat, you can also use it for cat dog bear elephant giraffe. So this one, the binary one, works for binary labels. You can also do multi-class. And it's a good choice when you have that sense that diminishing marginal returns is part of what you're dealing with. And it gives you probabilities out, which is very nice. And probabilities are pretty useful for ranking stuff. Like if you want to serve the user the song that they are most likely to listen to next. So for each song, you predict the probability that they're going to interact with it. And then you can order it by the probability results. That's one simple way to do some ranking. 